I did enjoy the book. I really did. It's a fun read. It's an easy read. Um, given the very scientific topic, it's still an easy read. Hi everyone, this is Paul Loves to Read and as you know in this channel, it's all about promoting the love and joy of literature and we hope that our little channel helps you find the right book for you. Um, and today, I'm going to share with you this book. It's called The Molecule of More. Um, just let, let me read the full title. It's called The Molecule of More, How a Single Chemical in Your Brain Drives Love, Sex, and Creativity and Will Determine the Fate of the Human Race. It's a long title. Written by Daniel Z. Lieberman, MD, and Michael E. Long. Published in 2018. <laughs> so, what is The Molecule of More? It's actually... Um, the, the book is actually focused on one very specific chemical in our brains, which is dopamine. And the book explains or proposes um, that everything or almost everything is affected by that chemical by dopamine so everything is connected to that chemical how you behave what are your choices what are your likes your dis your dislikes what are your inclinations and so on and so forth and and it's a very interesting read and it's written in a friendly way and when i say friendly the 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 authors the writers um segmented the topics according to universal human themes that everybody can relate to. So for example, the first chapter, of course, is about love. What and how does dopamine affect love, your emotion love, and so on and so forth. So that's why while the subject matter is highly technical and while the subject matter is very science, scientific, you know, it's still written for an average person like me. Like I said, the first chapter is about love. If we're going to pick about what are the memorable parts of the book or which ones that resonated with me, because each chapter talks about different um, human themes. So for example, love, drugs, domination, creativity and madness, politics, and progress. So... Each one of these chapters you could, of course, relate to because, you know, we deal with this every day. Um, for me, the first chapter, love, is something that is interesting to me. Why? Because maybe it's the first chapter. Maybe that's why. And I felt that it's something that is so... Uh, it's almost like a topic that's always discussed in movies and in TV series na, you know, the usual question, why does love fade? Or what does it take to sustain a love, a, a relationship? And so on and so forth. And what the book is telling you is that love actually does not fade, but it transforms into something else. And your dopamine, your chemical in your brain, has a lot to do with that. Because the dopamine is the one that kind of pushes you to act on love. So it's the chemical that motivates you to finally ask that person out on a date. But also, that dopamine will fade at some point. Because na achieve mo na yung, yung goal na yun. and it will be replaced by a different chemical in your brain that you need to acknowledge to sustain that love so something to that effect so apart from love drugs is also an interesting chapter right i thought this was the most serious of them all uh, because dopamine is the chemical of more it is the molecule of more Dopamine is the, is the chemical in our brain that keeps on wanting more. It keeps on wanting to get that high, that feeling of high. So it's like drugs. So that's why people take drugs. And that's why they cannot stop themselves from taking it because they always need to meet that high. And that's one of the serious topics here in the book. And that chapter will make you understand that, you know, if, in, if for whatever reason you've encountered a friend or a loved one who has suffered... Um, under an addiction, not just drugs, huh? any form of addiction, then you would, this book would kind of make you understand that it's sometimes actually beyond their control and they could use all the help they could have. So it's a, that's, that, that is a, a good chapter also. Creativity and Madness. Um, this specific chapter probably best paired with the other book I recommended, which is The Hidden Habits of Genius, because where there is madness 
there is also creativity and vice versa and and i don't think i need to to belabor on the topic but you know we do have a lot of famous well-known artists who we know to have some sort of mental issues right be it serious or not so may ano talaga siya there's a there's a correlation there somewhere that does not mean though that does not mean that every creative person is mad hindi naman ganun. it's not like that so, but the book is just telling you the correlations just going to show you how it can be related and the other chapter that i also like is politics a very contentious chapter the most contentious chapter of all um and lastly progress um so that's how he basically the how the authors basically concluded the book wherein dopamine is really about wanting more and wanting to progress and that is the chemical that pushes us as as human beings to to move forward to want something new to look for the new horizon and so on it's a great book it's a fascinating book it's a great read um i think and it's also written in a you know in a friendly manner in an understandable approachable manner but uh, the, i think the only thing lacking uh, from the book is that it's a lot of information to take in but then the authors doesn't really the authors don't really recommend uh, a next step like how now that i know these things how can i apply this in my in my day to day life or in my real life right how can i bring this knowledge into my life and then you know what can i do about it what is the use parang ganyan i think that's the that's the missing piece um there's no clear application or there's no clear call to action um that being said it doesn't have to have one right it doesn't have to have one um you could read it just for the pleasure of knowing just the, just for the pleasure of of knowledge of having that in you um but but in my case and also in Ray's case he he also read this that's what we were thinking of like after that okay and then what do we do with this how do we use this knowledge to to i don't know make your life better and so on yeah i decided to read this book because i am just fascinated how our brain works um again if you would have seen my other books book choices i i have that fascination of understanding how human behavior um is how, how we behave how our brain works how our emotions are are connected to our brain and so on and that's why i read this book um i would recommend this for like-minded individuals if that's something that you're interested in maybe this book is something that you would enjoy as well um granted it could be technical in some portions but very few lang naman siguro the technical part is like 20% <laughs> i i think ha um majority of the book is is written in a language that an average person a non-scientific person would appreciate and if you want to understand how your brain your chemicals in your brain and how your emotions can be affected um by the by your hormones by your brain and your chemicals in your brain then this could be the book for you if you're curious about that subject matter yeah and i guess that being said um overall i did enjoy the book i really did it's a fun read it's an easy read um given the very scientific topic it's still an easy read so If you do get a copy, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.